We have an exciting range of speakers on the laser science portion of this uh, conference spread over uh, 12 different topics. There will be a laser science session on precision metrology. We are fortunate uh, to have Jan Hall from NIST and University of Colorado at Boulder uh, as an invited speaker. He is the 2005 Nobel uh, Laureate in Physics. His Nobel Prize was awarded uh, for precision metrology based on optical frequency combs. I think we have assembled a program with fantastic invited and contributed talks that highlight a number of very active research topics. Uh, for example, uh, there is a whole session on photonic crystals. Photonic crystals are uh, objects that allow people to manipulate light in a way that was unthinkable 25 years ago. Significant advances have taken place in theory and now applications are starting to emerge. This year we will have presentations both on the science, the fundamental of photonic crystals, and on the application of photonic crystals in a variety of topics ranging from sensing and information processing. This is going to be a very exciting session. Another exciting session is at the frontier between nanotechnology, mechanics, and optics. This nano-optomechanics session has a series of inviting and contributed talks where researchers are going to present exciting results where they show they can very precisely control the position of very tiny objects and manipulate the position of those objects using optics in a way that was unthinkable as late as 10 years ago. Two topics of the laser science meeting that have gathered a very large number of contributed and invited presentations are cold atoms and quantum optics and quantum information. These two topics are really at the forefront of cutting-edge research and you will hear presentations by experts from the US, from Europe, from Asia, from all the countries presenting what are truly exciting advances in this field. These two fields are again field where you have fundamental problems and fundamental research producing exciting results and we are starting to see applications coming up. This I think is one of the most interesting fields. One especially interesting session of the laser science meeting is the use of optics in alternative energy sources. Here optics combined with nanotechnology and nanoscience is helping shatter some fundamental limits that were established as long ago as 40 years ago. Through the manipulation of light using nanoplasmonics, nanostructures, we can now convert sunlight into electricity more efficiently than anybody thought 20, 30, 40 years ago. This is an extremely important field with enormous societal implication. We shall see what the future holds, but right now the research developments are fantastic. A very interesting session of the laser science meeting is the detection of biological and chemical threats using optics and lasers. Here we are talking about techniques that allow the accurate identification of very small amount of dangerous matter. This has significant implication in terms of national security and also very significant implication in terms of detecting the onset of disease at a very, very early stage, both of which have significant societal implication. This is what this meeting is all about, going from basic science to real life application.